Okay, hello everyone. This is Andre Johnson with our Deal Mastery Monday call. So glad to be with you today. Uh, we have a special Deal Mastery Monday. Uh, today is going to be inside the funnel, a leads to deals case study. So it's a real deal that we will take you from uh, the beginning to the end of the deal. We'll walk you through the steps inside the funnel. And for those of you not familiar with funnel marketing, uh, funnel marketing is essential to any business, any industry, uh, in order to keep a pipeline of opportunities uh, coming your way. So uh, just make sure uh, that if you have any questions throughout the night, that you go ahead and drop those questions into the live chat. I will definitely make sure that I get to your questions. Um, may not be right away, but I'll make sure uh, I get to them, even if I parking lot the question and come back to it at a, another time. So if you can do me a favor and first let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see my uh, welcome slide, uh, my intro slide? Put yes, 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 if you can see my slide. Um, also, if you can clearly hear my voice, uh, say yes, 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 please. Want to make sure we start off on the right track. If you do have any problems with um, audio, can't hear me or you can't see, go ahead and throw that in the live chat. I'd really appreciate that and I can go ahead and get it fixed uh, before we get going. But it looks like uh, I'm getting a bunch of yeses here, so we will get off to uh, the races here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, move on. I want to make sure we have people all over the country as Deals Meetup has expanded nationwide. Uh, those of you not familiar, I've uh, been running Deals Meetup now for 10 years and we are now 100% online uh, virtual with Deals Meetup uh, every first Wednesday. Uh, that is first Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So the next one being uh, July 1st. So with that being said, uh, we have people all over the country uh, that are joining us. So please say hello, introduce yourself, uh, not just to me, of course, I'd love to, you know, for you to say hello and get to know you, but also uh, drop a line of where you, where you're from, uh, where you're investing, where you're investing. And that way you can get to know people, get familiar with people here in our uh, Deals Meetup community, as well as our Deal Mastery family. Just drop in the live chat, you know, hello and where you are, where you invest. And that way people can uh, begin to get familiar with you and, and take some of those conversations offline. And you never know, uh, the person that, uh, that is on the line here uh, could be a money partner, a credit partner, a JV partner. So it's always good to network. And right now, this is the best platform we have to network is these online meetings. So please go ahead and engage in the live chat there. Okay, so as far as me and background on me, a lot of you know this, so I'll make it short, but it's always important to uh, reiterate, um, you know, the, the road that you have traveled. And so for me, I've been investing now for 20 years. Um, it's been a journey through many market cycles, and we are very poised and um, prepared with this market cycle, the shift we're in, uh, to be uh, very uh, much a resource and a help to our Deals Meetup community, as well as our uh, Deal Mastery family and helping you to take advantage of the opportunities in today's market. So what I want you all to do as we go through the presentation uh, tonight is just to make sure uh, that you hone in on some of the resources that we're going to bring to your attention. And tonight we're mainly going to be talking about um, the funnel marketing and we'll talk about uh, the deal finders funnel and I'll bring Lakeisha in here uh, in a second. I see she has joined, so I will bring her in in a second. Um, and so uh, thank you, for Lakeisha, for getting on. I did tell, pe tell people that you had a settlement tonight. It's uh, always good news to have a settlement, so I'll bring Lakeisha in here in a second. But as far as my background, again, been investing for uh, 20 years, uh, mentor to thousands of investors over the years, uh, owner of several businesses, uh, completed well over 500 transactions since I got started. Uh, very, very thankful to have my book, Deal Mastery, Real Estate Investing Guide to Finding Deals, Joint Venturing, Taking Massive Action and Leaving a Legacy. I hit number one bestseller on the Amazon bestseller list earlier this year. And just really, really with the expansion of uh, Deals Meetup going nationwide, really looking to help investors around the country uh, to uh, find their first deal, uh, find their next deal to scale your business and to you know take your business to the next level. So as far as Again, the growth uh, for me, um, you know, I learned the hard way. It was really a school of uh, hard knocks for me in terms of uh, getting started. 
Um, you know, I, I was one of those paralysis by analysis, you know, engineer guys and, you know, uh, really was looking for the perfect deal when I first got started. It was really chasing deal, deal to deal. And it took me again, 18 months to realize that real estate was all about people. It was about investing in the process uh, so that you can have a uh, portfolio of, of cash flow rentals, you know, uh, multiple streams of income coming in. Uh, so you wouldn't have to rely on your, the job, rely on the government, you know, to take care and provide for you and your family. And so, you know, it took me 18 months and I was actually getting started in kind of that uh, dot com bubble, so to speak. And so all of you have the opportunity right now, which is really unprecedented with the market shift that we're in right now. So the time to take uh, massive action is right now. There's no doubt about it with all of the uncertainty out there and all of the distressed sellers. So just again, continuing on as far as, you know, my background and, and just the evolution of the advancement and advancements in my business. So over the years, going back to like 2002, that's when I first started doing direct to seller marketing, spent anywhere from 20 to $60,000 a month and marketing directly to sellers and seller marketing campaigns, including bandit signs, TV, radio, and other forms of direct to seller marketing, trying to perfect, you know, a deal finders funnel. And so, you know, what is a deal finders funnel? And essentially, you know, it is a cost effective method and process in order for you to market directly to sellers uh, with cost effective uh, strategies and marketing channels that allows you to qualify, nurture, and then ultimately, you know, get sellers under contract for you to close on all different types of deals with whatever exit strategy you choose. And so that's what a funnel is. It's about having a continuous flow of prospects uh, potentially motivated sellers come into um, your funnel and then to qualify them with automation, with uh, systems, with processes, with virtual staff that allows you to continuously have great deals that you can cherry pick, you know, throughout the pipeline of opportunities that you evaluate. So that's what a deal finder's funnel is about. And again, I've spent over a decade trying to perfect, um, you know, the perfect funnel and we're continuously optimizing doing just that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, bring uh, Lakeisha in and uh, just have her share a little bit of her background um, and, you know, how she's gotten started as an investor, investor agent. Uh, before I do, um, can I get some uh, engagement here on the live chat? Uh, anyone ready? Anyone want to go inside the funnel of a real case study, a real deal that Lakeisha has going right now? Uh, that can be a five-figure uh, profit deal for her um, and her business. Can I get a yes, yes, yes. If you want to go inside the funnel, take a look at a case study, a real deal that's happening right now. That's happened from a, a deal finders a challenge. That's happened from a marketing campaign that uh, she's engaged in right now. So can I get some engagement there? Let me see. Uh, any yeses? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go ahead and rock and roll. All right, cool. So let me bring Lakeisha in. Sorry, I think I muted her. Unmuted her, then muted her. Let me see if I can do it again. Are you there, Lakeisha? I am here. How are you this evening? Good, good. How are you? Can I complain? I'm doing great. All right. So you just came from a closing, right? Yes, I did. Oh, uh, sweet. A very grueling closing. We were actually supposed to close two months ago. Okay. But okay. Uh, we finally got through it. And yes, it's done. All right. Good, good, good. So... Uh, you know, always good to have more than one, you know, iron in the fire, so to speak. So was, this on, the, was this on the investing side of your business or the retail side? Uh, this was actually on the retail side and I was the listing agent. Okay, cool, cool. So for those of you out there that are just getting started, it's always good to have more than one stream of income. Um, for those of you that are agents, you know, you obviously can work both, both sides of the fence. And so we're actually going to you know, talk about that tonight, more of the investing side of the fence, so to speak, uh, for Lakeisha's business. So uh, before we dive into um, the specific case study, um, Lakeisha, you want to give people just some background on, you know, you as an investor and, you know, just how you got started and, and what really you're focused on right now? Yeah, so um, I actually got started a few years ago, um, actually JVing on wholesale deals. So, um, if I came across the wholesaler who had a deal, you know, I was bringing the buyer to the table and able to help close those wholesale deals. Um, and I guess how I got into getting into wholesale um, or wholesaling was I actually attended 
a few meetups. And I think Andre's meetup was one of the first meetups that I attended here in the DMV area. And I think at that time you were at uh, some grill, like an Asian yep. restaurant or something. Yep. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, so Andre's meeting was actually one of the first uh, meetings I attended. Of course, you know, got motivated. It was all about deals and, you know, structuring a deal and running through the numbers, et cetera. And so um, it really just piqued my interest. And so that's how I gained the interest in wholesaling. Um, fast forward, I did kind of take a break from real estate uh, because I also worked full time. So given the duties that I had at that time, um, wholesaling or real estate in general just really did not work for my schedule at the time. Um, so fast forward, Andre moves his meetup to um, over near the National Harbor. I started to attend those meetups again, got remotivated, and I jumped into the mastermind. Um, that year, that year I did close on my first buy and hold property and um, decided to become a real estate agent during that time as well. And so I worked with investors as a real estate agent, but then also an investor myself. Um, and so fast forward moving, I think this is my second or third year in the mastermind. And so now I am working on this wholesale deal that I got through the texting Tuesdays campaign. Great, great. And you also have a VA that works for you, correct? Yes, yes. Um, one of the most important things for me, particularly for this year, and, you know, I have been saying for quite some time that I was going to get a virtual assistant. But um, one of the things, again, one of the things for me this year was really putting systems in place and then also um, hiring a virtual assistant so that I could streamline my business because as a real, I'm also a realtor, but I also still work my full-time job. So I needed to find a way in order to expand my business, I needed to find a way to delegate some of these duties. And so um, maybe about a month ago, I brought, I brought on a virtual assistant who has been working out pretty well in the business. And so, I mean, that's super important for you guys to hear it from Lakeisha, okay, and not just always hear it from me, because I stress it so many times to whomever is willing to listen that you have to be willing to invest in virtual assistance invest in relationships with partners because you can't do this business by yourself like this business real estate is not about properties per se it's about people it's about relationships and you have to fire yourself from as many roles wearing as many hats as you uh, possibly can so that you can focus on just the strategic direction of your business and then have other people like virtual assistants, like having strategic partners, development partners and uh, marketing partners to help you to do all the ins and outs, the grunt work inside your business. So I'm, I'm just so happy for you that you've made that investment and it sounds like it's, it's really working out well. Yes, absolutely. So cool. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I have a couple as, as Lakeisha stays with me and we talk through um, her case study, I'm going to point out um, as we go in and out some slides, I'm going to point out just some fundamental uh, parts of building out your systems as Lakeisha just mentioned. So first thing I want to do is before we move any further is just to let you guys know Lakeisha mentioned a done for you texting Tuesdays campaign. So our 30 day deal finders challenge $100 to join the challenge. The EMD that Lakeisha put on this property that you're going to see later on in the presentation tonight, tonight was a hundred dollar EMD in terms of the initial contract offer that went out. So you don't have to have like tens of thousands of dollars to get started in this, in this business. It really just takes the right systems. It takes the right strategies and just takes working with the right people, the people that know what they're doing in order for you to get started. So let's go ahead and move on. And, but first of all, how does that sound? The fact that you can get a property under contract, guys, for just $100 EMD, and that you can get a marketing campaign started for just you know $100 or so. So if you like that, if you like the sound of that, throw that in the chat. Yes, yes, I like the sound of that. Yes, I want to keep the engagement going tonight because that's the way that I know you guys can hear me, you can see my screen, and that you're following along you know, with the presentation tonight. So we're looking right now at a slide that is showing an actual funnel. Okay, and the funnel is showing some people at the top left of the screen. It's showing 
um, levels of people actually um, going from contact to lead to offer to contract to close. And so what I want what I want to talk through with uh, Lakeisha here is uh, the fact that when you have any funnel marketing, and she's done a couple of funnel campaigns uh, up to this point, you know, not just for the investor side, but I'm sure for her retail side, um, that you have, you know, continuous back and forth in terms of uh, communication with sellers, whether it be to get a property under contract to buy or to wholesale, or whether it be to get a listing agreement signed. And so you see here that you may be prospecting uh, via different methods. You can see a little phone icon representing a phone call. You can see a little uh, chat icon representing a text message. So this is what a funnel looks like. It looks like starting with a lot of prospects to fill the top of your funnel with the investor marketing, uh, people like absentee investors, people that don't live in the property that they own. So it's a rental property or people that have a vacant property where there's a vacancy and there's a high likelihood that they're motivated to sell. So these are the types of people that we prospect to, to actually um, start a funnel uh, marketing campaign, a direct to seller marketing campaign. So uh, Lakeisha, do you want to comment just on not only this recent campaign, or just, just your experience in general in marketing to directly to sellers? Oh, well, you know, the, uh, the deal finders funnel has been amazing, especially now that I have the virtual assistant. So I actually have maybe 18 different um, campaigns that are taking place. In the oh, wow. deal finders okay. funnel, okay, and, and that's for that's for the retail side of things, and also for the investing side of things. So, really you know, my good. virtual yes, so my virtual assistant, she's familiar with the questionnaire on the retail side, but she's also very familiar with the investing side of things. Um, so, you know, we're constantly making phone calls. I have auto dollars set up uh, where phone calls are made so often. Let's just say you know, every 30 days or something along those lines. Yeah. Um, I also have text messaging campaigns that are set up in the system as well. Um, and so, you know, the text messaging campaigns could be anywhere from, you know, I, well, one in particular for the investing side, you know, I have one that'll start, let's say today, three days later, I'm sending out another campaign. Seven days later, after, after that, I'm sending out the third campaign, so on and so forth. Um, so for me, the funnel has worked really, really well in trying to reach out to individuals and contact them to either get a listing agreement or um, to have those conversations about possibly purchasing the property. And that's oh. great. It's great that you spelled it out that way for everyone that's listening, because not everyone has experience with what's called funnel marketing. And so the, the process of marketing and follow-up, in, in any book that you'll read on sales and actually closing a deal, um, any book, you know, whether it's written by Chet Holmes or whoever your, you know, sales guy is um, to refer to, they're always going to tell you that it takes like seven to 13 or seven to 14 touches on average in order for you to close a sale or close a deal. So the reason why Lakeisha mentioned, you know, she has different sequences, a text and a call and maybe 30 days later, because you very rarely will get someone on the phone that is a motivated seller or potentially motivated seller and get them to give you a ratified contract to an offer that you make within that first day or two of interacting with them. A lot of times there's rapport building that needs to take place. Uh, there's heightened motivation. Uh, there's an understanding of different options to solve their problems. And so again, it takes typically seven to 14 touches on average for you to close, you know, an average deal um, in any industry. And that's no different in the real estate industry. So I'm so glad that you have a VA, um, that you're working the system. Sometimes you have different, uh, you say you have like eight different, 18 different campaigns running. So yeah. it's super, super cool. And I see a question here, Ian, I'm going to drop the link uh, to where you actually can uh, get access to the same deal finders funnel Lakeisha is using. So uh, the screen here, you know, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. You have uh, motivated sellers coming in from the top. They could be absentee owners. They could be um, vacant house owners. They could be people that are going through, uh, that have gone through probate, inherited properties. And then essentially when they respond to your, are you selling messages, then that's when your, your uh, deal VAs, your virtual assistants can follow up. 
uh, qualify the leads using seller questionnaires, of course, to get them down to the bottom of the funnel where you have offers that go out, you negotiate, get properties under contract, and of course, you have deals uh, that you actually purchase or wholesale. So let's continue on and take a look at this deal that uh, Lakeisha is working on right now. We're helping her, helping her out with it. Uh, 1500 Carls, Carswell Street. Um, 1500 Carswell Street is in Baltimore. You can see a snapshot of it right here. It's an in the group. Um, row house in Baltimore. Here are the numbers in terms of uh, the numbers that we um, put together to market this property uh, as a potential wholesale deal. Now, is having funnel marketing always about wholesaling? No, you can pick whatever strategy you want for your wholesale deals, right? You can you can have, uh, I say your wholesale deals, you can pick whatever strategy you have for your funnel. It could be a wholesale deal as an exit. It could be a property you buy um, as a rental, it could be one you fix and flip. It could be one where you uh, fix and hold. It could be a lease option. You could choose any exit strategy you want for your funnel. I mean, it's your funnel. It's your marketing. You can cherry pick the ones you want to keep, and then you can wholesale all the others. That's the cool thing about having a funnel. Uh, and if you're an agent, of course, you can kind of wear both hats. You know, you can disclose you're an agent and, and act as an investor. And if it doesn't work as an investor, you take off the investor hat, you put on the agent hat, and then you can list the property. So uh, how, how do you work that, Lakeisha, um, in your business um, in terms of, you know, if it doesn't make sense as an investment property, do you try to flip it as a listing? How, how do you make that work? Um, yes, yeah, so, you know, I've actually done both, but I've actually started recently um, approaching everything from a listing standpoint. And then if it does not work as a listing stamp from a listing standpoint, then I approach it as an investor. Okay. All right. And, and that you can do it either way. I mean, it really depends on your market. It depends on your strategy. Um, and people, you know, have different approaches in different markets, but that's the cool thing about being an agent. You can, you know, take off one hat, put on another. And so we're going to get into this particular deal, 1500 Carlswell street in Baltimore. We're going to walk through, uh, how Lakeisha was able to get this property under contract, again, going inside the funnel from lead to deal, real case study. So let's continue on. All right. So um, again, with these funnel, with these funnel marketing campaigns, you know, you're really targeting a part of the country and the types of properties that you're interested in. Okay. So it doesn't matter if, you know, you're, you know, interested in Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Cincinnati, Ohio, um, parts of New Jersey. We have clients all over the country. And so the way a funnel marketing campaign works, it starts with a targeted list. So I know the campaign that Carl's, Carswell came from, you know, started with a targeted list of around 5,000 plus prospects. Do you remember exactly what the number was, Lakeisha? Yeah, it was about 5,000. Okay, so about 5,000 um, yes. prospects. So yes. what are those prospects? So first of all, when we have a campaign, we, we provide the targeted list um, of vacants or absentee properties. Um, and if you were to go and price that, it would be somewhere around a thousand dollar value, but it comes with our uh, done for you campaign with our deal finders challenge.